measurement of power flow and temperature question number 1 the thermocouple circuit which is used to measure temperature works on option a seebeck effect option b peltier effect option c thomson effect option d none of the above the thermocouple circuit is works thermocouple thermocouple circuit works on seebeck effect seebeck effect Uh, when two when two dissimilar metals are joined together to form two junctions one is a hot junction another one is a cold junction the hot junction is known as a measured junction and the cold junction is known as a reference junction junction when the two dissimilar metals are joined together to form two junctions a net emf is induced uh, this uh, net emf establishes a flow of current that can be measured using an instrument like an voltmeter this can be connected together so two dissimilar metals form two junctions one is a hot junction which is a measuring junction and one is a cold junction which is a reference junction and net emf is induced and the net emf establishes a flow of current and this current can be measured and this will be the measure of temperature so the thermocouple circuit which is used to measure uh, temperature is known as seebeck effect and this effect is known as seebeck effect a uh, type j thermocouple is made of the following metals so type j thermocouple so type j thermocouple there are four types of thermocouple type k type e type j and type n type k is chromal anomal anom chromal alumal the two dissimilar metals are metals are chromal anu alumal chromal constant n for type e and iron constant n for type j and nitrosyl nickel for type n so type j thermocouple is iron constant n so an option is b type j thermocouple is iron constant n question number 3 identify the thermocouple type with the highest temperature limit from those listed here type k j n t okay. so type type k is up to 1350 type e 900 type j 750 And type N greater than 1200 degrees Celsius. So type N, so type N thermocouple. So thermocouple type with the highest temperature limit. So type N and option is C. When the reference junction is the same temperature as the measurement junction in a thermocouple circuit, the output voltage is okay. When the reference junction, that is a cold junction, is same as that of the hot junction. no emf is induced so output voltage is zero so option is a a thermocouple circuit can have other metals in the circuit and they will have no effect in the thermoelectric emf provided all the junctions are at the same temperature this is known as there are two laws of temperature one is law of intermediate metals and law of intermediate temperature so law of intermediate metal states that so if if there are there are two metals a and b if a third metal c is introduced in the circuit it will not affect the net emf induced so this is the law of intermediate metal so uh, so thermoelectric thermocouple circuit can have other metals in the circuit and they will have no effect on the thermoelectric emf produced so this is called as law of intermediate metals Sixth question: The characteristics of a material or a body which is taken as an indication of change in temperature is known as thermometric property. Okay, the thermometric property. So EMF uh, is a thermometric property uh, in thermocouple. Okay, EMF is a thermometric property. Uh, that is the increase in height of the height head will be the thermometric property in liquid in glass thermometer. and uh, in different resistance in rtd so different uh, parameters are the thermometric property which indicates the temperature so the this is called as thermometric property which of the thermocouple uh, one will choose to measure the temperature of 500 degree celsius to measure the temperature of 500 degree celsius uh, we have to choose iron constant n because it is 900 1350 greater than 1200 so iron constant n so temperature to measure temperature of 500 degree celsius iron constant n is used so answer is b 
chromal aluminum thermocouple can be used to measure temperature up to the chromal aluminum is type K thermocouple this can be used to measure and that is up to uh, measure up to 1200 degrees Celsius okay this can be used to measure type K thermocouple can be can be used to measure temperature up to 1200 degrees Celsius so 1350 but it is nearer to 1200 so option C is correct reference junction compensation in thermocouples can be accomplished through the use of so reference junction compensation can be obtained through both hardware as well as software so option is C the generally used device for temperature measurement inside the furnace is optical pyrometer okay so thermocouples are the contact thermometers okay contact thermometers thermocouple RTD and all other equipments are RTD and bimetallic thermometers mercury in glass thermometer alcohol thermometer gas thermometers all are all are coming under contact type thermometers you have to place the thermometer on the place where you are measuring the temperature but optical pyrometers are non-contact type measurement devices so they measure the temperature based on the infrared infrared rays produced infrared rays produced and the brightness of the brightness produced optical pyrometer works on the disappearing filament principle in order to measure the temperature brightness generated by the radiation of the unknown source is compared with the reference lamp so reference lamp has some brightness the brightness of that furnace is compared with the brightness of the reference lamp and this will be the measure of the temperature okay so the generally used device for temperature measurement inside the furnace is optical pyrometer option is option is b in electrical resistance thermometer the thermometric property is the resistance of the metal wire okay it is not electric current it is electric current in case of thermocouple voltage it is not voltage it is a resistance of a metal wire electrical resistance thermometer or it is called as rtd rtd in rtd electrical resistance of the metal wire is a thermometric property so rtd is a temperature sensor sensor which measures temperature using the principle that the resistance of a metal changes with the temperature okay when the uh, that is uh, due to the temperature increase or decrease the resistance of a metal changes so electrical current is transmitted through a piece of metal rtd or resistor located proximity to the area where temperature is to be measured the resistance value of the rtd element is measured by an instrument okay which stone bridge circuit or any other instrument is used to measure the or ohm meter is used to measure the resistance value the resistance value is cor then correlated to the temperature based upon the known resistance characteristics of the RTD element. Okay, so electrical resistance thermometer. Uh, so RTD elements are one of the three configurations. Uh, platinum or metal glass slurry film. It is called a thin film RTD element, or it may be in the form of wire wound RTD element. Platinum or metal wire wound around a glass tube. It is called as wire wound RTD element, or it may be in the form of small coil of a wire inserted into a hole in the ceramic insulator okay so it may be in any one of the three forms so in electrical resistance thermometer the thermometric property is resistance of a metal wire okay resistance of platinum wire when the uh, when it is exposed to temperature the resistance changes and this will be the measure of the that change in resistance is measured using ohm meter or wheatstone bridge circuit and this will be the measure of the temperature then which material is employed as rtd elements rtd element is platinum so answer is b semiconductors which are used in temperature measurements are called as thermistors okay semiconductors are used in temperature measurements are called as thermistors so the thermistors are semiconductors semiconductors are used to measure temperature are called transmitters thermistors when a thermistor is employed for temperature measurements, its resistance decreases with increase in temperature. Whereas in RTD, temp uh, resistance increases with increase in temperature. Whereas in thermistors, it decreases in with increase in temperature. 
because it has it has high temperature coefficients 8 to 10 times higher than that of platinum or copper okay the material for thermistor is germanium okay or oxides of manganese nickel cobalt nickel nickel copper iron zinc titanium and tin okay semiconductors which are used in temperature measurement are called as thermistor so option is d a thermometer which works on the principle and the different metal expand or contract based on the coefficient of thermal expansion okay a thermometer uh, which works on the principle of metal expand or contract is called as bimetallic thermometer okay bimetal uh, it is called as bimetal thermometer okay they have the two metals the bimetals have uh, different coefficients of thermal expansion okay and there are two two metals are used the two metals have a different coefficients of thermal expansion so see this here one may be copper one may be iron copper have different coefficient of thermal expansion iron have different coefficient of thermal expansion both the metals are joined together so when they have when they are exposed to temperature when they are used in the temperature measurements they are they will expand or contract based upon the coefficient of thermal expansion okay this can, this is mainly used in ions ion boxes okay ion boxes when the temperature exceeds particular limit and this uh, bimetallic strips they are called as bimetallic strips this bimetallic strips expand or contract and they uh, make a uh, and they close the circuit and the current will not be produced they are mainly used in ion boxes Uh, so the bimetallic strip thermometer works on the well known principle that different metals expand and contract to different degrees so they have different coefficient of thermal expansion different metals have different coefficient of thermal expansion mm, if two strips of two different metals steel and copper okay iron and copper and the materials used in bimetallic thermometers are mainly iron and copper they have been firmly connected together okay so the degree of and uh, when they are subjected to temperature changes either cooling or heating the degree of contraction or expansion of the metals differ depending on their coefficient of expansion the metal strips tend to bend owing to their different coefficients of expansion the difference in expansion of two metals which makes a strip bend is a measure of temperature since two different metal strips are employed it is called as bimetallic strip thermometer okay it is called as bimetallic strip thermometer okay thermometer which works on the principle of different metal expand or contract based on coefficient of thermal expansion is called as bimetallic thermometer or bimetallic strip thermometer option is c so this is a bimetallic strip so the metal strip 1 this is metal strip 2 so under normal condition figure a under normal condition so when it is exposed to temperature so they will expand this side or when it is exposed to hot cold junction they will expand in this direction when it is exposed to cold junction it will expand in this direction so which alloy is generally used as thermocouple metal thermocouple junction metal manganese manganese is used as thermocouple junction metal so option is b Thank you